Welcome to another episode of uh, Carl's Trades. Today we're doing starting the wiring. We'll uh, take you around and show you a few interesting things which have come back. Um, and yeah, hopefully we have some lights working and some controllers working. We'll just see how far we get. So, one thing that actually does um, happen is there's a lot of work goes on behind the scenes for the restoration like this. It's not all just come out and pitch in and do some work. I am um, working on finishing the schematics um, for the new control circuits. Now, I didn't print them out on big sheets because I didn't get the chance, but I printed out my little A4 printer, which is good enough. I'll give you a quick look at the, uh, I'll put them on the video, I'll show you the large scale version, but. Uh this is the PLC itself up here. This is the output relays from the PLC. This is the input to the PLC. And these are where we're going to be joining up the train wires to go to the cab down that end and the cab down the other end. And of course, now not dealt with train lines, of course, the outputs of these will also go down into the engine boxes underneath the underneath the vehicle. So we'll start getting some wiring up on this. Uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is hook up the control positive and control negative over this side and we'll wire all that really well and nicely. I might get a few clips of me wiring it together once and for all and properly. Yeah, well, here we go. We've actually done a little bit of wiring here. We've got our, uh, well, obviously the covers for that, but we've wired in our train lines as we talked about. So keeping the numbers identical. Over here with control positive, I'll get some proper labels for these proper traffic light ones. These are just to keep me thing. And I'll label all these indiv wires individually as well, of course. Uh, for these train lines, there's a color code. So I've actually, and it's on the schematic, which I'll put up on the screen, what color codes go to what wires, because we're using our 20 core wire for that. So this is to put the rubber controls around. What we are doing, look at this, 20 core control cable. So this is what we'll be using. Um, so we have control positive, control negative. We're just running off a set of batteries at the moment to power up the PLC, which I'll do in a second. Uh, then the next stage today is we're going to wire, I'm going to connect up the PLC. Uh, we can connect the laptop to it. We've got the inputs and outputs from these, but we'll just double check they're all working. And according to our wiring diagram, we'll wire uh, the PLC into our train lines and then we'll uh, look at wiring our, uh, our cab up. So here we are, we've actually got uh, now got a laptop plugged in to our PLC. As you can see, we're actually up and running here. And you can see down here, this is in a better spot. So we can, let's have a look here. Let's turn on some relays and see how we go. Let's so, so what's lit up at the moment is the engine trouble light. Uh, let's turn that one off and we should see one of the lights here go out. Let's have a look. This is doing a bit of this. There we go. We can put it back on again. Cancel. There we go. So that is, as you can see, that is the trouble light, which should be two, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's one right here. Let's do it again. Force. There we go, and we can turn it back on again. We'll cancel the force. So, we know what's actually going on here. We can see the the, uh, the PLC controls. Now, all we need to do is we need to match these relays with these train lines. We've got a diagram to do that. All right, so we didn't quite get everything we did want to get done, but we've got a fair way. We actually got, so we got our train wires hooked into our output. From the relays, a little bit there to finish. We got our cable run through, our 20 pair cable, sorry, not 20 pair, 20 core cable. This will, of course, run into and connect up into here. And we have and we have our master controller. Unlocked at the moment. So, I'm sure you 
take the cover off. You see, we have our wiring that runs all the way up into here. Same wiring runs through the lighting there and up through here. So we've got to take out the different wire colors for the different things, hook them up, and then we'll be able to, uh, yeah, then we'll have some lights and uh, some control cab wiring up and running. So a week later, we're doing a simulated engine start. Uh, the engine start number one engine comes into train line seven. So let's see how it works. So a week later, we've got a bit more wiring done. It's a little bit messy, but we've got all our train line wiring into the cab. Some of the lights are working, but I just want to show you a quick, quick get, get this up and running. Because then I've got to go and do something else really urgent. So let me, I've got the John standing in the cab. I'm going to turn, let's connect up to this PLC. There we go. So we can see engine isolating switch number one, which is actually now in place and connected. We're using this old panel from uh, ML70. All right, John, reach in, press the engine start button in the cab. Okay, engine start on. There we go. See, now if we actually had engines, this thing would be starting right now, all the way up through to the engine starting relay number one. So the cab wiring is complete. Um, not everything's wired up, but we know everything works. Let her out, John. Thank you.